In today's linear algebra video, we're going to be taking a look at reduced row echelon form. Uh, what we'll be doing is going over the background behind what our REF is, also comparing it to something called row echelon form. I uh, will go through a few different manual calculations. And then at the very end, what I'll do is show you guys some shortcuts within Python uh, so that way you don't have to manually calculate this anymore. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at reduced row echelon form and its applications. All right, let's take a look at reduced row echelon form. And this is commonly abbreviated as RREF. I'll also say RREF because continually saying reduced row echelon form, it's a lot. But anyways, this is a special form of a matrix found by using row operations. The method to achieve RREF is through Gauss-Jordan elimination. And uh, we'll make another separate video just on that for solving equations a little bit later. But anyways, if you're trying to achieve row echelon form, which is REF, you would be using Gauss elimination. Okay, so why we want to find our REF? Well, one, you can solve linear systems. Again, this will be another video in the future. Uh, you can find the rank of a matrix, which I've already recorded that video, and uh, it'll be out pretty soon. And then you can look at invertibility, right? A square matrix is invertible if it's our REF is the identity matrix. So let's talk about both REF as well as RREF. So row echelon form, again, REF, a leading entry of a row is one or can have all zero rows, but has to be at the bottom. The leading one called a pivot is to the right of the pivot in the row above. And this is not unique, right? So there's multiple valid forms of a matrix that uh, meet the REF criteria. So each of these over here will demonstrate what REF looks like. Uh, this one over here to the left will also be RREF. We'll explain that in a second. Uh, the second one over here, right? 136, 0, 1, negative 5, 0, 0, 1. So the leading entry of a row is 1, right? So leading entry on all these is 1, right? Okay, same with this over here, right? Leading entry in all rows there, right? Or it can have all zero rows, but it has to be at the bottom. Well, none of these have all zero rows. This one does over here. I guess we should just go line by line, right? Leading 1, leading 1, all zeros over here, okay? The leading one called to the pivot is to the right of the pivot of the row above, right? So you can see one right here, then we have the next, right? We have one here, then we have a one right there, one right there, and then also one right over here. So we're looking good over here. Okay, now let's talk about RREF. So reduced row echelon form already has to be in REF, but RREF is a little bit stricter, right? So what it says is each leading one is the only non-zero entry in its column. So you can see these ones over here, leading entries, right? one one zero 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 one zero 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 and again it fits the criteria where we said all zeros have to be at the bottom great and then we have this over here one two and you can see the rest of this row or this column is going to be zero but then we have a one over here right and we have zero so this fits reduced row echelon form okay and just to show you side by side I have this over here, one, two, three, zero, one, four, zero, zero, one. This is an REF. And then I converted this over to RREF and we see one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, zero, one. Again, it, it's a little bit confusing at first to understand REF versus RREF, um, but you'll pick it up over time. Uh, how you achieve uh, converting a matrix into RREF? Uh, we use different row operations, right? So they could be row swapping, scaling, row addition, or subtraction, and you can combine multiple at once, right? So for example, we could take row three minus two of row one. So row swapping, right? We have two, four, eight, one, two, three, four, eight, ten, right? We're going to swap R1 and R3, which are these two over here. So now you see four, eight, ten, one, two, three, two, four, eight. We can also scale. So let's say R1 is going to be one fourth of R1. So we just divide this by four. And now you can see one, two, and 2.5, right? We're trying to get the leading one over here. And then lastly, you can subtract, right? So R2 equals R2 minus R1. And you can see you have one, two, 2.5. We subtract that from here down below, right? And you get zero, zero, zero point five. Okay, now let's take a look at our first example. Um, we're gonna start based off of where these three row operations have already gone and we'll just continue to scale this out, right? So uh, this is the result so far by just going backwards, right? 
We looked at two, four, eight, one, two, three, four, eight, ten. We apply these three row operations. Probably not how I would go about it at first, but regardless, we're going to start from here and then get this into our REF, right? So uh, first thing we're going to do over here is we're going to multiply R2 times two. So that way we get one. So you can see we have one, two, 2.5, zero, zero, one now, two, four, eight. Uh, next thing we want to do over here is we're going to say R1 and we're going to say R1 minus 2.5 R2. Um, you, you see R2 over here is one, right? If we multiply that by 2.5, we can get rid of this 2.5. And then we have one, two, zero, 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 one, and one. Up next, we're going to look at R3, right? R3 over here, we're going to take that, subtract 8R2. And again, our R2 value over here is going to be one. So we're going to take eight minus eight. We're going to turn this into two, four, zero. Then what we're going to do over here is take R3 and we're going to minus two times R1. So we have R1 over here, right? Times it by two and times it by two. And then we get zero, zero, zero. And we have cleared out that row. We have zero, zero, one. And then we have one, two, zero. So our original one over here was two, four, eight, one, two, three, four, eight, ten. And now we have one, two, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 which fits row echelon form, right? The first thing we have is we have the all zero row, which is here all the way at the bottom. So that's a check mark over here, right? We have a leading one over here. And then we also have a pivot over here. And again, this is the leading one in this column. So everything should be pretty good with this RREF. Now, this was a lot of work, right? And I would recommend that you keep practicing if you have to do this manually. But what's really nice is with Python, we can literally solve this in just a few lines of code. So if you have access to that and you can use Python, highly recommend it. And uh, let me show you how we can do that now. Okay, let's get started. What we're gonna have to do, we're gonna bring in NumPy. So import NumPy as in P. And then we're gonna say from SimPy, SimPy imports matrix. So we'll have both of these and that's all we'll need for this video. And let's get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna say a equals np dot array. And then we're gonna pass in a matrix over here. And I want this to line up exactly with what we did in our examples. So we'll start off with two, four, three, then one, two, three, then four, eight, ten. All right, so two, four, three, one, two, three, four, eight, ten. Nothing really too special. And then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to convert this NumPy uh, matrix into SimPy. So what I'll do over here is I'll say SimPy matrix pre R R E F equals matrix, and then just pass in our NumPy array, right? Okay. Then we're going to say matrix post R R E F equals, and then we're going to grab our SimPy matrix that we have over here. I'm going to say dot R R E F like this. Then what we're gonna do after that is grab our matrix. So we'll say RREF matrix equals matrix post RREF, grab zero. Okay. And then what we're gonna do now is convert it back to NumPy. So we'll say NumPy RREF matrix equals np.array and then pass in RREF over here and we'll say D type equals floats, and then uh, print this over here. And you see we have one, two, zero, 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 one, and then zero, zero, zero. Okay, and honestly, this is pretty awesome, right? Because remember slides, like how long it took us, literally just in what, one, two, three, four lines of code, we were able to go from this into RREF. And this isn't built into NumPy, unfortunately, so that's why we're gonna use SimPy over here, but yeah, it's really not too bad. Um, what I wanna do now is show you the second example. So we'll say example two. And this is where um, earlier in the slides, we went from REF to RREF. And really it's gonna be identical. So what we'll do, and this is just to reiterate how we go through this. 
So first is we define our matrix, right? So what I'm gonna do over here is have this as one, two, three. So one, two, three, then zero, one, four. So zero, one, and four. And then we'll have zero, zero, one. So zero, zero, and one. Yep. Then what we'll do next is say simpy, simpy matrix pre r e r e f right r r e f and remember we're converting this matrix so we just say matrix like this we pass in our a then we convert uh when it's in this matrix for simpy into r r e f so we'll say matrix post r r e f equals and we grab our simpy matrix over here and then we say the r r e f right step two then step three is to grab the zero over here. So we'll say RREF matrix, matrix equals, and we just grab that, grab zero, right? And then lastly, we convert it back to NumPy. So we'll say NumPy RREF matrix equals np.array, pass in this RREF over here, because we're getting it back into NumPy, and then say your D type and this one, I'm just going to say floats. Right. And lastly, just print this out. And yeah, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. Honestly, pretty easy. So again, numpy, convert to simpy, all dot R R E F, grab the zero. Then convert back to NumPy just by doing np.array and congrats, you have your RREF reduced row echelon form. Well, that's reduced row echelon form, Python side of things, super easy, but manual calculations, it takes a while, right? So hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got some value.